Well, they have 25 non-resident tags, and uh, it's a draw basis. And we've been putting in for five years, and this year, we were lucky enough to draw. Yeah, there's just not a lot of them, so it's, it's a special hunt. It is a special hunt shared with my brother. Oh yeah, baby. Really? Good Amber, morning. Amber, 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 Yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah this is going to be fun. <laughs> With any luck, we'll get some to come in and land so we can get a good look at them. Emperor Goose story is a great story of conservation. They were closed for about 30 years, reopened five years ago now. It's the fifth year we could hunt them. It's almost like big game hunting in a way. It's like you get one and you want to make a count. So. <laughs> the emperor's down. <laughs> That's <laughs> our that, first goose. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, See if we can't get a couple this morning. It ain't been easy, is it? Good things never are. No. <laughs> through the decoys they're too tight and then they landed out in the water so I walked down the beach and snuck them and got a safe shot on this one and that's a pretty one they're just beautiful
did her. Pretty bird. Good day in Cold Bay, Alaska. Nice bird. God. Yeah, well, it's a dandy. That's good. It can be done. Oh, that's a good one, Terrence. It's pretty good. It's uh, just a honor to hunt these great birds, and but that's uh, that's what a lot of folks dream about. Nothing quite like these guys coming in, squawking at you, and landing on the beach. Congratulations, thank Terry. you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yep. So folks need to go for non-residents to Alaska Department of Fish and Game website and apply in November and December for a non-resident emperor goose tag. So if you're interested in doing this, I would highly suggest you do that. And good luck.